Greetings and salutations, my friends. Now, um, just so you know, in the top right corner, there will be a card. That card will direct you to a video that you may or may not want to watch. I decided to do it that way because it's basically just a tour of this lovely four-story building that I've created, which is my HQ building. Um, if you want to see all the details about what went into it and what's where and so forth, click that link, go watch that video, come back here afterwards. Otherwise, we're going to mosey on our way. Come along. Ah, uh, yes, also, massive hella <laughs> storm at the moment. Uh, checking on our data. We're going to go do Ten Pines Bluff, and then we'll come back Finish after we finish that off and do Jewel of the Commonwealth. And then in my own time, I'll probably go back to Ten Pines Bluff and turn it into a fortified outpost. <laughs> Because that's what I do. Uh, for now, we will have out that. Let's. Yeah, wrong gun. <laughs> we'll go with that one. One doge. Leave the door alone, dude. I still have the red rocket to um, beef up as well. Right now, I'd like to do some actual episodes that deal with um, getting done what we're going to get done. Gonna take the direct route because it's the kind of guy I am. That was a cave there for a moment. Uh, in case you missed me saying it before, I've decided I'm going to limit myself to just the. Um, It'll just be four different characters. Each char each of the th three characters that came first, Prowler, Kara, and Fenris, will each do one of the story's arcs. The Wanderer... Well, he is going... Oh, where am I? This could be trouble. Wow, it certainly adds a, a, a level of difficulty. <laughs> um, as I was saying, the Wanderer will be all about just exploring. He's not even going to do any of the storylines. I'm simply going to wander around and explore. And um, I may also use him as my official settler settlement um, bids as well so it'll be exploration and settlements is what he'll be about oh my goodness me you could you could fall off a cliff and do yourself some harm here that's what I think This is the kind of day you want to crawl into bed and just wish the world away. I know I don't want... Oh, look out. There's some kind of creatures over there. Oh, oh! What am I struggling for? That 
one's gone. I don't even know where he's at. Oh. Still cannot use my keyboard. That's a bit disconcerting, I gotta say. The fact that I can't use my keyboard bears some investigation. I'm not going to bother trying to search for their bodies in this muck. Oh, Brahmin. Oh my goodness, someone just threw a grenade at me. You want to play games? That's right. Oh crap. Okay, the dog with the extra senses. Oh, dog. Scared me there for a sec. How do you get up there? I mean, yes, obviously there would be stairs here somewhere. I can't for the life of me see them. Mole rat. Okay. I need the rest of your stuff. Sorry guys, just had to take care of some parenting. Um, 
my younger is awake, she needs a bottle, so I'll take care of that as soon as we finish up this episode. It's not like it's something of utmost urgency. Oh. Thank God that's over. That's the next thing I'm going to look at doing too, by the way, is um, increasing you know, stars in the sky with yet another texture mod. Mongrel dog, mate. Oh, you look like a nice dog. Yeah, you've got a chain collar. You don't need a bandana. And I certainly don't need a bandana, so... Just continue to wind up, no? That part you can't get up on. There'd be a building there. So much better now I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it really does tax you, I, I gotta say. I don't know how it was affecting you, dear viewer, but for me, I was really having to reach inside and really concentrate on what I was doing because. That shit was real. Yeah. Part of his body. Oh, there's his body there. Got no head left, buddy. Well, I see a door, and I want to uh, use it. We were going to do ten pines, but as happens in life, sometimes you deviate somewhat, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Shushdoge. No. Psst. Hold. Let's go. This is beyond me.
Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Oops, good boy. Dog. Good dog. Um. Oh, crap. And my computer. It's still not freaking working for some reason. Yeah, you think? This is adding a little bit extra difficulty to everything, i got to say. I'm gonna, just going to see if I can fix this by clicking it on. Oh, there you go. It wasn't in place. The back of the head. <laughs> hundreds of times. Think you'll be any different? Yeah. Uh, ah! Punch in the face for you. Sorry, I don't hit ladies. But you know, you're no lady. And now you got no head. Take the rest of your shit, though. Okay. Chances are we missed something. So what we're going to do is now methodically backtrack, cleaning up along the way. I um, think I'll be quick saving that too. Come yeah, on. I'm not taking those. Don't need them. There we go. Nice. Mama Murphy will be pleased. Uh, 
that was worth it. I really need the pipe pistol. Don't need his apparel. Keep going back this way because we kind of rushed this a little bit coming the way we came. Why is the security terminal to unlock? Ah. Need to make someone good at hacking. <laughs> One of my characters has to. Pick that skill up, I think. This terminal. That would be because I took the fusion core out, I think. Oh well, and stay like it. I'm leaving nothing for anyone else. <laughs> I'm just taking everything. Okay, so I think I'm done in here. Still haven't worked out how to make my power armor go the chrome color that I set it up for. I tried. You can craft the paints and stuff in in the uh, Kim. <laughs> you can craft. You can craft the um, paints in the Kim station, but uh, I did that with. I made some chrome, but no avail. Didn't do a bloody thing. So I guess it's back to square one. I'll um, go look at the write up on Nexus mods and see whether I'm missing something. Because I do, may, I thought maybe it only works on the X1 series. That would stand a reason. I mean, that's the. Um, that's the one you want, really. Ooh, a locket. What's with the locket? Inspect. I'm betting there's someone in, someone out there in the world's gonna go. Oh, if only I could go back there and get that locket. Oh, never mind, Mister Old Age Ghoul. I'll do it for you, cause I'm too school, too cool for school. Okay, so this is where we cleaned up that 
go. Thing bit funerary uh just debris and stuff here. It's been an ongoing joke when I used to play Dungeon Dragons. I mean I still roleplay, but we don't Ooh, no no no, don't do that. Um, ongoing joke because a lot of the descriptions when it was an empty room was it was an empty room with nothing but dust and funerary wrappings and am sort of an insider joke for a long time. All fun and games till I actually threw a um, golem at them made out of funerary wrappings and debris. <sighs> <laughs> Teddy bear with an army helmet on his head. No, I don't think you've got anything worth my time. So we'll just leave you. We didn't go this way before. I think this goes back up the other way, does it? Yep. So short of that one room which is a mini nuke sitting on the table hmm there's some good stuff in there okay well we're done here all that stuff and I'm still running just running? Oh, yeah. Four kilos left. Could probably fix that by giving a secondary minigun away. Hey. Wait there. Hey, okay, buddy. You can have that. Ooh, that just dropped. Big time dropped. The army helmet. Can't wear it, can you? No, can't use the minigun either. <laughs> Let's fill him up with this. He took it all. What a good dog you are. Ah, oh, he loves the teddy bear. <laughs> Fitting end. And that, guys, will end that episode. I hope you uh, enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for stopping by and making me part of your day. Um, use the like button to make my day. Um, and if you want to subscribe, go right ahead and do so. Um, subscribing gets you in, uh, it gives you notifications that new shows are out. I run my shows on regular time frames, So once you know the pattern where you are in the world, you'll always know when my shows are coming out. There are times when I slip up, but sure. But um, for the most part, this show runs at 9 o'clock in the morning, H1Z1 at 1,500 hours, Australian Eastern Standard Time. That's Sydney time, for those of you who want to look by location. And um, sometimes I slot stuff in the middle. Anyway, uh, there's also a comment section. Feel free to use that comment section. And that's pretty much it. i got to go. Uh, baby's waiting for a bottle. Well, maybe she might have fallen back to sleep. Let's hope so, because there's not much formula left. And I want to save it maybe for tomorrow. Um, for now, though, guys, wherever you are in the world, have a great day or night. Uh, take care, and I will see you back here on the flip side.
That wraps up another episode of Fallout 4. Y'all come back now real soon and see another episode with me and Doge me doing what we do best. Dying. See ya.